All right, so we're going to be looking at the unknown factor activity, and we're going to work to solve one of the expressions. So I'm going to show you how that would look in case you were wondering how to do the activity. So here's a quick step-by-step -step on how to do that. So we would start off by step number one is choosing one of the expressions. So I'm going to choose a different expression than um, one of the ones on the list, but you can go ahead and choose one of the ones on the list. So the expression I'm going to choose is blank times 3 equals 27. So when I use a number bond to figure out the unknown factor, I'm going to start first step was to take draw a circle and in the middle of the circle write the whole. So my whole in a multiplication sentence is going to be the product. So this is the product, or another name is the whole. The next step is then I'm going to look at the factor that I do know, and I'm going to draw those different arms. And then I'm going to use my manipulatives. So notice I've already gathered my manipulatives. And I'm going to use those to count out until I get to my whole. So I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to keep going until I've reached 27. So right now what I've counted is I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So I've reached the number 27. So here's one group. Here's another group, and my third group. So I want to notice that I have 27 in the middle. I have three groups, one, two, three, and now I have to figure out how many is in each group. So I would count each one of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I noticed that equally I have shared out nine in each group. So that's my unknown factor. So I would write nine here at the top. I could also do this by putting three in each and figuring out how many groups I make. So I could take these off. and follow the same steps. Circle in the middle, 27, and then now I would just put three in each group, one group of three, and I would keep doing groups of three until I reached my nine groups. So that's two ways to complete the unknown factor activity. So go ahead and choose your expression and get started.